Hi, Brian Bush, field agronomist for Pioneer covering central and southern Indiana. As you can see behind me here, I'm gonna get many phone calls about soybean lodging, or some guys wanna call it soybean squatting out here in the field. Great growing conditions here. We got taller beans than we would have expected this year. And then what happened with the recent rainfall, those beans are starting to go down a little bit. And of course the question is, what's gonna to happen to the yields on these soybeans? Well, at the end of the day, the later these beans lodge, the less impact we have on yield as if they lodge earlier in the season. Most of these beans now are at the R6 stage, so full seed size. Keep in mind, 80% of the energy that feeds these pods comes from the trifolia attached at that node. So if those leaves are now under other plants, we're probably not gonna have the yields we're hoping for on those plants. But the later that lodging occurs, the less impact we have on yield. On the positive side here, I don't expect this to really impact harvestability. When the leaves fall off, these plants will stand, spring right back up and make harvest pretty easy that way. So I'm not concerned about harvestability as much as we are maximizing seed size from this point forward here. So when we're trying to, to pack in every single bushel we can into these pods, having leaves covered up probably is not gonna help us maximize the, field, the yield on those plants. Ultimately though, I think we still have very good yield potential in these soybeans, so don't give up hope yet. If you are concerned about soybeans lodging though, talk to your seed representative. We have several different varieties that have better lodging scores to kind of help you manage that risk going forward. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.